So let's talk about this trip. There's a little mountain village in Austria called St. Gilgen. It looks kind of like this. That was in the fall and that was about three, four years ago. I haven't been back there in a while and I love that place. So that's where we're going today. The first leg of the trip is, uh, it's gonna be pretty nice. It's gonna be American Airlines business class on the 777-300ER, which if I have to say it, if I have to make a big statement, I think it's the best business class in the world, with the exception of Qatar Airways Q Suites. That's the best. So this is the second best, but by far the best US airline business class seat. So let's take a look at what that looks like and let's go on a random trip to Austria. Okay, so here's my seat 6A. Let me take you on a quick tour. So we have, we have the TV, folds out like this. We have headphones, we have me. And that's just a little shelf area. We have two windows. It's kind of rainy. Storage area here, a footrest, tray table down here. And we have the remote, a light, seat controls, power outlet, and then that little USB cord. So, yeah, it's a great seat. I almost forgot the little armrest. How cool is that? And my favorite part about what American does on their 777s, they have personal air vents in business class. It's actually really rare. So I'm gonna relax for a second. Hopefully they come by with a glass of champagne soon and I won't get the show on the road. So lunch started with a salmon and horseradish sauce and salad appetizer and I didn't really know how to eat it with a fork so I just decided to have it with my fingers. The second one was as good as was the third. Pretty impressive appetizer and the salad was good. Your standard balsamic vinaigrette uh, sort of dressing with some olive oil. And then the main entree was a, a crab cannoli and shrimp entree, and it was cannolicious. <laughs> Get, uh, sorry. Uh, anyways, so yeah, the shrimp was good. I don't know why I wanted you to see me eating the shrimp, but it was really, really good. And then the dessert was Bailey's on the Rocks with a little chocolate mousse cake, which I wanted to do this clip in slow motion, but I forgot to, so imagine this was slow motion. So yeah, really, really nice. And now we're gonna fast forward quite a bit. This is me getting up after a long sleep, just as the sun is starting to come up over um, Europe. And the breakfast was a standard fruit tray, and I tried to get the granola into the yogurt, and it was just kind of stuck, but me being kind of an idiot, I just kind of ended up dumping it all over the place. Oops. Okay, so really quickly, let's get into the amenity kit. So this is a Cole Haan amenity kit, and it comes in a big bag, and they're, they're trying to make this more versatile. So um, it's just some labeling there. I didn't want that. But this bag right here, it just kind of unrolls, which I was surprised by initially. And then you just pull all the amenity kit accoutrement out of it. Um, and you can see it's quite the assortment of stuff, but it's kind of the standard stuff you'd expect out of an amenity kit. And the bag I was kind of confused by, but now I realize that's a shoe bag. So in case some of your shoes get dirty, you can throw them in your bag without, or in that bag and then throw in the rest of your bag. So it comes with the standard eye shade, the uh, lotions, and look at these socks. I love awesome socks. 
Okay, and so then we had the little packet of lotions from C.O. Bigelow and Company. And it was good, and he had some mouthwash in there. And so there was some lip balm and some body lotion. And I, I wanted to try it out to give you my honest thoughts. And so there was the lip balm, and I don't use lip balm that often. And I put way too much. I, like, destroyed my upper lip with lip balm. But it feels moister, I guess, now. It sounds gross for some reason. Uh, and then there was some body lotion. I also don't do body lotion uh, very often. Uh, so I put a little on my... Oop, too much. Uh, but I put some on my arm and just felt uncomfortable the whole time I was doing it. But that part of my arm is now... It's, smells nice and it's very moisturized and that was good so uh, as we descended into the cloud layer and then down even further into the fog and the rain what are my thoughts on the flight so there were some good elements of the flight the um, you know the service was good the um, the uh, blanketing the bedding was excellent it was very comfortable um, and then the in-flight entertainment was good so you can see a little TV there I watched Thor Ragnarok as well as a movie called Stardust, which I love. And then the whole seating area is just great. There's a lot of personal space. They, they, they make very efficient use of the space, but there are a couple of bad things. The flight attendant noise was just terrible. Overall though, I gotta say, it was a really, really good flight. So we landed at Heathrow. A nice little set down by an all-female crew, which I think is awesome. And then back to Andy. Alright, I hope you enjoyed this review of the 300 ER business class with American Airlines. Uh, if you'd like, go ahead and subscribe so you can get more videos like this, more